second chance. When we went to visit Grandma in Lavana, had you left Papa, Mama, who wasn't there? When I reached the top of the stairs, I was only three. Where were you, Mama? You weren't holding my hand. When I slipped, tumbled, grasped the crystal angel, it shattered carving staircase edges in my wrist. Your hand became a tourniquet. When I left a trail of blood to three Havana hospitals, they said, we cannot treat her here. She's too young. When I cried, Papa, Papa, at the clinic of her children, he came from Panama for keeps. My stitches pulled us back together. Thank you. Now, Anita has asked me to read a poem by Virgil Suarez, who cannot be here this evening. Shakespeare visits Havana. When asked how he arrived, he pointed a red finger toward the docks in Regla, beyond El Malecón where the dock workers spilled like ants out of the bellies of ships, sacks, and boxes on their shoulders. And he said he'd come because he'd heard of the great coffee, cigars, sugar so sweet. And in his old age, like one of his greatest old men, Prospero, he wanted to feel the Caribbean lunar bliss, the sway of palm fraud against his face, the scent of gardenia and jasmine. In the streets, he walked as children played and men drank in the penumbra of bodegas with other men, aguardiente, fire water. And he felt so fertile, he couldn't wait to sit down and commit word to paper, say, the world doesn't stop, not here, in the island of fire, where the sun bleaches everything. Enough joy to fill the hearts of men and women, the beautiful ones standing on the wrought iron veranda balconies an abanico in their delicate hands, maidens all. Later in his room, he will open the seat-facing windows, take a deep breath of fresh salt air and sigh a memory of homeland, a stone's weight in his chest, and he thinks he understands what it is to live in exile, self-inflicted, no less, like the one Hemingway knew, Wallace Stevens, Stephen Crane, and others, always there will be others who will arrive, breathe in the air, and succumb to melancholia. At his desk, he will write Shakespeare and pronounce it in Spanish for the first time. The words, like hummingbirds drinking sweet nectar from his lips, a kiss of remembrance. Mm -hmm. 